Konnichiwa minasan! Today, I'm doing a very special extended Transformers Pepsi Optimus Prime video view on Pepsi Optimus Prime. But first of all, I'm going to start off with the vintage 1985 version, which is released only in both America and in Canada during 1985 as a mail away Transformer. Now the Pepsi stickers um, on mine are very much like the um, repro versions of the um, original vintage um, 1985 versions though the vintage um, Pepsi symbols look real cool and real retro. The box art of G1 Optimus Prime here looks real cool and you can tell by this bloated gun and bloated fists and he looks real impressive and when I first um, got um, a vintage Hasbro Optimus Prime set back in 2008, um, the box was a bit of a knockoff. So I've been waiting to like save up all my money at the time to get a vintage G1 Optimus Prime set, and now I already have, which is real good news. I'm very pleased that it came through. On this side of the box shows you um, Optimus Prime transforming from his Frontline 202 truck into his robot's form and um, if you look closely you see that um, G1 Optimus Prime here has no yellow stickers for his indicator lights at front the black line on his number plate crosses out the word Diaclone though this one looks real cool because he has a bloated fist and bloated gun. And, and if anyone is wondering, am I going to be converting my Diaclone Battle Convoy into G1 Optimus Prime? Well, the answer is yes. And it's very dead simple. At the top of the box here, got the word Transformers in C and blue, white, dark red, ordinary red, and white. Along with the Autobot symbol, got G1 Optimus Prime in his Robots form with his bloated fist and bloated gun. Bottom here, G1 Optimus Prime in his Flight Line 202 truck form. Attached to his trailer, which is a metal plates variant. Though I've been meaning to save up just about enough of my own money to get, like, two Transformers G1 Vintage Optimus Prime metal plate variant sets for my own Transformers glass display which I'm likely going to buy at some stage in the near future. On the back, you've got the epic space battle where Optimus Prime and his army of heroic Autobots like Sunstreaker, Sideswipe, Prowl, Bumblebee, Trailbreaker, Hound, Ironhide and all the other heroic Autobots fighting off the evil Decepticons led by Megatron who has his fusion cannon. That's Megatron with his fusion cannon. And um, in this box art um, picture, you also have Starscream, Soundwave, Laserbeak, Thundercracker, and Ravage. Because they are the Decepticons. And I have to say that the epic um, G1 Transformers um, Space Battle box art looks real epic and real cool indeed. On this side of the box, you get the same picture of G1 Optimus Prime in his robot's form. Another cool picture of G1 Optimus Prime in his Frightliner 202 truck form attached to his metal plate variant trailer, which is real cool. At the bottom of the box, you've got G1 Optimus Prime still in his robot form. So if I'm moving the camera too much, I'll try not to anyway. Still got G1 Optimus Prime in his Frightliner 202 truck form attached to his metal plate variant trailer and if you look closely here you see a blue supercharged roller with no peg holes this picture is also based on the original 1983 Diaclone Battle Convoy set released by the good people of Takara in Japan and this is real real cool oh and on top of this flap here you got the word um, Transformers again written in Seeing blue, white, red, 
dark red and ordinary red along with the Autobot symbol and the word Heroic Autobots in the scene blue white um, rectangular shapes as well which is real real cool and what else does he come with? well they're simple I'm going to unbox some um, G1 Optimus Prime put the box aside he also does come with a set of instructions which is very important though mine does not come with a red decoder so you've got some, another cool box art of G1 Optimus Prime here which is real cool and um, when people at um, Hasbro decided to take some photos on how to transform G1 Optimus Prime, they covered up the um, Diaclone um, Battle Convoy stickers and replaced them with um, the blue and white stripes with the Autobot symbol, whilst adding the Autobot symbols on G1 Optimus Prime's shoulder as well. Especially when adding a grey roller with two pegs at the back. And if you also you see G1 Optimus Prime transforming from his fight line to a truck form detached from his metal plate variance trailer, and there's G1 Optimus Prime in his robot form there. If you look closely, G1 Optimus Prime here has no diaclone anywhere on his number plate. It's just a big lime greenish blank. And if you also look closely, on this side of his trailer, he still has the same raised bat lines platform. He does have metal plates, um, the massive um, grey peg holes for grey roller to shoot up properly. And um, and when I was watching one of the um, Transformers video reviews on Diaclone Battle Convoy and the G1 Optimus Prime metal plates variants, I was also watching one of the um, Diaclone driver's um, feet on these metal plates in his trailer. And I really wish that the people at um, Hasbro and Takara Tomy um, brought back that feature for hopefully their future G1 um, reissue releases at some stage, especially G1 Optimus Prime's bloated fist um, feature and his bloated gun um, feature as well. Especially his bloated um, gas pump and bloated nozzle feature too. You see um, G1 Optimus Prime's trailer taking shape. And there's G1 Roller with a bloated um, gas pump attached to the hose. Which is also attached to his bloated nozzle. And then this picture here shows you um, which sticker goes where on G1 Optimus Prime and on G G1 um, Optimus Prime reissues along with um, Diaclone Battle Convoy. Oh, and the bottom pick of these um, instructions um, show you um, the um, decoder matching um, G1 Transformer um, tech specs just to decipher, I believe, tech specs that you get with a G1 Transformer. Now we've got the instructions out of the way. Let's get on with transforming G1 Optimus Prime from his Frightline and 202 truck form into his robot form. Now this is real, real cool because G1 Optimus Prime is still in his Frightline and 202 truck form attached to his trailer with Pepsi stickers. And you've got Pepsi sticker on here, back of his G1 you've got the Pepsi logo sticker which I think looks real real cool and an absolute classic and on this side still got an awesome Pepsi sticker on G1 Optimus Prime's trailer looks real real cool indeed so going to transform G1 Optimus Prime first of all so this one has Rubber tyres which says um, formula at the top and desert dog underneath when you turn one of his wheels around anti-clockwise. Get the same thing on these two um, wheels and the same thing on these ones as well. And he also does have um, um, 
feet which are made out of die cast metal along, along with his um, windshield has chrome on his wheel treads, gas tanks, smokestacks, headlights, chrome grill and chrome bumper along the transparent see-through windshield as well. And G1 Optimus Prime here is not only based on Takara Diaclone Battle Convoy released in Japan since 1983, but Optimus Prime also transforms into a Frightliner 202 truck form. So to transform him, we raise this part of this section 90 degrees downwards, so that they form the legs, rotate 90 degrees forward to form the feet. We come to his um, headlights section, and we rotate them 90 degrees forward, both arms outwards like this, come up to his smokestack section, unhinge his right section along with his left, swivel both of them around 90 degrees forward like this, then what you also do, attach both of his um, fists in these little peg holes, one in here and the other one in here. And then what you also do, we come up to this section where his head is, we flip it up and put, place it into this little clip. And there you have G1 Optimus Prime in his robot form and he is real, real cool. He does have um, the full 360 degree articulation in his arms, along with some articulation in the knees, articulation in the feet, but his head does not move, though his head cannot turn side to side because his head is not on a ball joint. So that's G1 Optimus Prime. And take a good long look at G1 Optimus Prime here ladies and gents, boys and girls. He is real awesome, he does have the transparent windows, and he looks very much like um, the Optimus Prime many Transformers G1 fans know and love since 1984. And he is real, real cool. And you're not going to display his back, you're only going to display his front. Got to put on his gun there. If you so desire, you can also place his laser rifle into any one of his two hands. But I prefer to fit mine into his right hand. And if you prefer to, you can also fit up to two Diaclone drivers within G1 Optimus Prime here, or the Autobots Matrix of Leadership. To transform G1 Optimus Prime's trailer, into his base form, we simply vertically rotate 90 degrees, his blue stabilizers on both sides, his left stabilizer and his right um, stabilizer, place it on a flat surface, second, bring down his trailer door like this, third, open up both sections of his trailer, four, we bring up his raised basilized platform like this, bring up his radar dish, forward slash satellite dish if you so prefer, come up to this section and bring out his claw and one of the missiles just shot out but we'll get to the missiles a bit later, come up to his hose, attach his hose to the claw Again, the claw is attaching the hose, which, which is attached to his nozzle. So you've got the nozzle. So before you do that, you have to attach um, the nozzle to the hose to his gas pump. And now, onto assembling roller, which is real easy. So. To assemble roller, you need to attach one, two, three, four, five, six wheels to roller here. And you can also fit up to 
for Diaclone drivers within Roller as well. So we place Roller in his trailer and there's a little um, grey button here which shoots out Roller and watch closely as I shoot out Roller. A real cool Scouts car with six wheels. And what can I say about G1 Optimus Prime here? He is awesome! So we place to two missiles in these two sections, each section. You can also rotate his radar dish like this and watch his radar dish um, going around and around and around and around and around and around and around. Like so. And I'm I've I've also been meaning to get myself some G1 Optimus Prime um, trailer um stickers um for this set because um one of the stickers is about to peel off so I'm going to get in touch with um repro labels and buy some from there as well. Oh I forgot one missile. My bad. So that's um G1 Optimus Prime 1985 American Pepsi version video tribute.